facts wear on snowmobiles. It doesn't matter what brand you have. It's pretty where you ride and how you ride, but it's an issue. You go through the high facts. It's one thing wearing it out and having to replace it. It's another when it actually ruins your ride. Right. I've had seen guys side of the road with their track stuck to their rail. Yep. Or they call their weekend short because their high facts is baked off. What we're looking at here, these two rails were on the same snowmobile. Okay, so this is a normal high facts. This is our DuPont high facts. And this is a brand new DuPont high facts. So you can see the amount of wear between the, the two DuPont pieces and the amount of wear from a standard one to the DuPont piece that was on the sled. And if you know how, if you ever watch the track That's, in slow motion, it's, it's not a straight yeah. line, it's, it's doing that, right? Yeah. So here's where it first uh, hits the road. Yep. Here's your probably your first idling wheel. That's there. right. Then you come back into the high facts, and then it gets really gouged down in here again, and then it comes up at the end. Yeah. The same one, it's flat, straight, there's very little wear, so you can see a bit of more polish in here, just past this wear mark, so there's probably a little bit going on there. Okay. But when you look at where it's where it's worn against the original one. So basically I see your insert there, these yeah. are drilled out, might hold a little bit of No, that's really that's really for fixing the piece. Oh is it's, it? It's really not it's no hocus pocus holding yeah, yeah. ice or anything. That's okay, good part to know. of the manufacturing process. These chips are a material called Vespel and it's very uh, it goes way beyond a Teflon, but it's very uh, friction reduction, very friction resistant. Right. We use the same material in clutch bushings back in the mid 80s. We brought it in and put it in our rollers and weights. It didn't work so good. But you think about that's a high pressure application. There's right. a lot of straight force going through it. It's a little too soft for that, but under friction, under the kind of loads in this application, where well, you see the results. Right. So, now, are these going to be offered? Uh for in other applications other than Yamaha? The Arctic Cat's going to start moving them. We've yep. increased our tooling to produce. We couldn't build these fast enough last year. We couldn't fulfill the back orders. Wow. And it's it's actually quite labor intensive. The high fax itself is drawn through a, through a die, same as traditional high fax. But then all these little grooves have to be yes. machined and then these things have to be pressed into place. So it's it's a kind of a- What's the retail on a pair of those? Um, again, checking with our dealers, but retail's in the neighborhood of 100 to 120 bucks. I can't remember suggested retail. Well, that's amazing. It's not cheap, but when you think of the the hassles of replacing oh, the high facts, you're going yep. to get it's well. The, uh, to get several the, seasons the, on one side the mountain facts. sled, uh, the deep lug tracks. I mean, this is kind of ideal for right yeah. because we often run into a, a trail setting well, on the way in the to morning, just trying to get up the hill, and you got your ice scratchers out and everything. Yeah. All ice is okay once you get in the powder. Yeah. But we had well last not last season, the season before last, Southern Ontario was one sheet of ice. I had a set of these on my own Apex, and that's why I don't mind telling you they work. Yeah. Because I couldn't believe the wear they got out of mine. Like I was going down glare ice, my temperature light was coming on. Right. I wasn't having any high packs issues. I had other problems. But yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Wow. And at the end of the season I did a similar comparison and very, very little wear on the, the high packs. Well that's nice. I'm glad we talked to you about that. I'm, I'm glad we saw it's that. It's a solution. It's a good solution for a lot of yeah. guys. Uh, you'll be seeing it uh, in future coming as a, as, a, as a standard feature on the Yamaha's. Very good. Well, lots, lots to see at the Yamaha booth. A little bit of new stuff. Well, the other thing I didn't mention about these, you just made me think about it too. Uh, some of the guys, I have guys go, oh, I just put the extra idler wheels on and that fixed my high packs problems. And I said, yeah, you probably did. You probably lost somewhere in the neighborhood of five to 10 kilometers an hour of top speed. Totally. Okay, yep. You added more resistance and friction and stuff in that. These actually increased top speed by almost the same amount. So you don't lose top speed. There's a performance gain. When you have a performance gain, you also have a gain in fuel economy. Right. So you're getting a couple other benefits. They're not huge. I'm not going to say you're going to get another 100 miles out of a tank of gas, but you will get better fuel range. You will pick up a bit more top speed in any sort of position.